The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show, a classic TV series from the 1950s, holds a special place in television history. This show, starring the funny duo George Burns and Gracie Allen, brought lots of laughs and happiness to viewers. It's known for its mix of humor, surprising moments, and touching scenes that are still loved today. A common question is who was your favorite actor in this TV series? George and Gracie both had a unique charm, but which one did you like the most? Also, what do you think makes this show a lasting symbol in the TV world? We're really interested in your personal connection to this TV series. Did it make you smile during a hard time, or was it something you enjoyed with someone special? Please share your stories and memories in the comments. Remember, The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show is more than just a series. It's a collection of classic comedy that continues to be loved by audiences. Keep watching and you'll find out more about its special charm and why it still appeals to viewers today. The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show is an outstanding example of classic TV comedy surpassing many of its kind. What makes this show special is its clever conversations and the excellent way Gracie Allen presents her lines. Her performance is flawless. This series has a special charm that makes viewers laugh out loud, a rare thing for many when watching TV. It's so engaging that people often find themselves watching it longer than they planned. This series is a great choice for anyone who wants to enjoy some humor and light-hearted entertainment. People of all ages, including millennials, like it because it's simple and shows them how life, culture, and daily routines were in the past. The way it presents manners, fashion, and language from that era is not only fun, but also teaches us about how people interacted back then. Even though it's an old show, its humor and relevance still hold up today. The fact that the stars of the show, including their son Ronnie, have passed away makes watching it feel more meaningful. It reminds us how quickly time passes and how good entertainment can have a lasting effect. The show also brings different generations together. Some viewers watch it with older family members or friends, leading to enjoyable talks and shared enjoyment. But there's a downside the show isn't easy to find on modern streaming services, which might stop new viewers from discovering it. This makes it harder to ensure that the show continues to be known and appreciated by more people in the future. In conclusion, The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show is an excellent example of timeless comedy, drawing in audiences from various times with its humor, charm, and historical insights. It's not just entertaining, but also connects viewers to a different era, making it an important part of TV history that's worth watching again. In real life, Harry Von Zell, a writer for Wagon Train, became a key source of creative ideas during the last season of the show. Drawing from Von Zell's background, the writers smoothly integrated his TV persona, where he consistently pitched George ideas for Western-themed shows. This unique twist brought a fresh element to the series, giving viewers a peek into the collaborative and inventive processes behind the scenes. A noteworthy aspect of the George Burns and Gracie Allen show is the support George and Gracie gave to their kids, Sandra and Ronnie, to explore acting. Despite not initially having an interest in acting, both children made short appearances on the show out of family courtesy. Inspired by Ricky Nelson's success on his parents' show, George strategically convinced Ronnie to become a regular cast member, hoping to boost ratings and kickstart his son's acting career. The show's transformation from live by weekly performances in the first two seasons to weekly filmed episodes in the third season marked a significant change. During this shift, many scripts from the live seasons were revisited, adjusted, and remade. This change not only demonstrated the production's adaptability, but also emphasized their commitment to delivering quality content in the evolving television landscape. In essence, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show not only entertained audiences with its on-screen antics, but also show with a keen awareness of the industry and a willingness to adapt. From using real-life connections for creative ideas to including family dynamics for strategic reasons, the series displayed a versatile approach to storytelling, leaving a lasting impression on television history. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show wrapped up in 1958, making it the longest-running sitcom on TV at that time. In the fifth season, they added a special touch to the ending of each episode. George and Gracie would do a short performance, like a mini-show, which added a fun and nostalgic element. One cool thing about the show was how Gracie paid a lot of attention to decorating her TV home. It matched her real lifestyle, making the show feel more real and engaging. 
Later in the series, a guy named Harry Von Zell, who wrote for Wagon Train, brought in some fresh ideas. In the last season, he became a key part of the team, adding a new perspective to the stories. This gave viewers a behind-the-scenes look at how the creative process worked. Interestingly, George and Gracie supported their kids, Sandra and Ronnie, in trying out acting. Even though the kids weren't initially interested, they made short appearances for family's sake. Inspired by the success of Ricky Nelson on his parents' show, George convinced Ronnie to join regularly, hoping to boost ratings and kickstart his acting career. The show changed a lot, going from live performances every two weeks to weekly filmed episodes in the third season. This show would how the production could adapt to the changing TV world, tweaking scripts from the live seasons to keep delivering good content. So, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show not only made people laugh with its funny moments, but also show would how aware and adaptable it was to the TV scene. From using real-life connections for ideas to strategically using family dynamics, the series made its mark on television history. Following the success of the Amos and Andy show, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show secured its place as the second U.S. sitcom exported for broadcast in the U.K. In the 1940s, Gracie Allen initially resisted the transition to television, expressing a desire to retire from show business. However, her husband, George Burns, convinced her otherwise. Despite her initial reluctance, Gracie eventually grew frustrated with the show, particularly during the fifth season when George signed contracts for additional seasons without her consent. By the eighth season, Gracie insisted on retiring, leading to George creating a short-lived spin-off, The George Burns Show, in the hopes that she might return. Unfortunately, Gracie remained steadfast in her decision. A distinctive feature of the show was the illusion created around the Burns swimming pool in live episodes. The edge of the pool, an 18-inch water tank, was skillfully maneuvered on and off the stage, employing lighting tricks to simulate depth. This practical approach showcased the ingenuity behind the scenes. As the series progressed, changes occurred, reflecting the dynamic nature of television production. The eighth season marked Gracie's departure, leaving George to navigate the continuation of the show without her. The strategic retention of the cast for the George Burns show was a testament to George's hope for Gracie's return, even though it remained unrealized. In essence, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show was not only a source of laughter, but also a glimpse into the challenges and adaptations of the television industry during its time. The ingenious use of practical effects and the resilience of the cast in the face of changing circumstances contributed to the show's unique legacy.